So hi guys, this is the latest version of our unit converter and let's remove that stuff, don't need it no more and save it, let's try it out, everything is okay uh, number, let's input the 15 and we got that so let's run it again with another number and let's do uh, 39 and we got that, great so now we have a very compact uh, version here. Now I can, uh, we can st still further improve that. And one thing what's uh, bugging me here is that I'm dependent on two lists, basically conversion types and conversion factors. And you know how things are in life that sometimes it could be that one list has got like five elements and the other one four or vice versa. And that would uh, create problems with our loop here because this loop uh, assumes that both of them have got the same number of elements because we're using the same index for both we're using C in len conversion factors we're basing our uh, or, or we're, we're basing the number of iterations we're doing on the length of conversion factors however if uh, conversion types were of a different length then this whole thing will break now how can we avoid that well there is a third element we had uh, no, sorry a second element we had lists now there's another element which is quite similar to lists but a bit different and that's called a dictionary now what is a dictionary well let's do a list uh, this is my list and a list is nothing else but a sequence of elements, as we said, which could be of different types. So that's a list. Now, what's a dictionary? A dictionary is also a sequence, albeit slightly different. First of all, it starts up with curly brackets and then here you access each element by its index so that's index zero that is index one and that is index two with a dictionary there is nothing called indices but there's something called keys so the first element's called that's the first key so name then you got a colon and then you got the the value of that name so frank then comma so that's that's the first element that's the first element here. And that first element has got a key called name and value Frank. Then the second element has got a key called surname and a value which is brown. Okay, so that's the second pairing. You see in dictionaries, elements come in pairs, key value pairs, okay? So age, that would be uh, let's say 27 right so and then we terminate the dictionary with a curly bracket so you see the difference here you're just basing on an index here you have a key to each element and that gives a dictionary an advantage in certain uh, scenarios for instance our scenario if we go here uh, let me get our two lists Here are our two lists. Now here, when I see something like that, that is a typical candidate for a dictionary. And the dictionary would look like something like this. So I start off, let's, let's, call, let's give the dictionary a new name. Uh, let's call it conversion factors or conversions. Now let's call it conversion factors, what the heck. Okay, so, and then like this, and now what's the key? Well, the first key would be this, that's the key, and then colon, and what's the value? Well, it's this one. Okay, and then comes the second key, which is basically this one, and colon this. 
and so on. So as you see, I'm getting rid of these two lists and taking a dictionary which combines both that and that. So let me finish that dictionary up. So the third element would be kilometers to feet. And another thing about dictionaries to, to, to know is that a list is always sorted the way you want it. For instance, the list is always going to have 123 at 0, ABC at 1, and 2309 at, at, uh, at 2. With dictionaries, the sorting, the sorting can vary. Python will sort that dictionary according to internal memory uh, requirements. So it could be that when you print the list, it could be that those that those pairings are in a different order. But it doesn't matter because the sorting in a list does not matter because you're always going to call uh, an element in a dictionary by its key. So where that element lies in the dictionary is of no concern to you or doesn't matter. Okay. So that's that's one thing about dictionaries to to to, to note. So let's do the first, last element, which is basically that's its key and colon its value. Right. And then close. So all right. So now how do I how do I iterate through uh, a dictionary for a list we said we go to take index for i in range length of the list for instance let's take uh, conversion types conversion types close paren close paren colon and then just print uh, conversion types That's how you iterate through a list. And yeah, let's save that. Let's try it out. F5. So we got like exactly the conversion types here. And if I go into conversion factors, I would get basically the same results. Now, how do I iterate through a dictionary? Well, with a dictionary is like this, it's a bit simpler. For here, you input, you give a name for the key. You know, you can call it A in what's your dictionary called conversion factors new all right now what do we want to print if you want to print the key let's just print a right let's uh, comment this guy out all right save it f5 well they, these are the keys so basically i just printed those keys and if I need to print the values, well, I just go take the name of the dictionary and similarly to lists above and just index or pair or, or you know, that's how I access elements in a list similar to, uh, uh, sorry, this is how I access elements in a dictionary. Very similar to a list, except A in this, in this case is a key and not an index. It's not a number. It is the key. So let's try it out. Save it. And F5. And here you see I'm accessing the values, uh, the conversion values, okay? So in this case, what I've done now, I've just gotten rid of two lists, combined these two lists in a dictionary, basically with a key to a value pairing, and then I just print the dictionary. Now, if we go back to our code, so how would, how would that change our code? Well, I would say, Let's uh, get our old, old code back. Okay, so that's the old code we had. Uh, code we had. Now let me get my dictionary. So I'm getting rid of these two lists and putting in the dictionary we just created. I'm calling it conversion factors. So now, how would be my how would my loop be? Well. It'll be something like that. And just uh, remove that comment. Right. So what I'm doing is conversion key. I'm just calling it that variable. I'm calling it anything I want. I can also call it ABC. You know, it doesn't matter. But that's the key and that's the uh, dictionary. 
and then print ABC in this case, that's the key, colon, and then ABC, okay, if you wish. And that, that would give me, what would that print? That would print the key, first of all, plus a colon, space, and then all this calculation, basically taking in the kilometer value that I, I, I input as a user, times the conversion factor of that certain key. And I don't have any sync problems because my dictionary would, would, would throw an error if I just have a key without a value or vice versa. Okay, let's save that, try it out. And here it needs a value, let's put in the 15. And you see I'm getting the same results as before, albeit now with a one single dictionary instead of two lists. All right, so that's, that's here. Uh, now you've seen two uh, iterable elements. One is the list, which is basically, uh, which has elements in a sequence and each element is accessed by an index. And then you'd have a dictionary. Again, here you have elements in a sequence, albeit these elements are pairs key to value pairings and to call uh, a value we just insert the key you call basically that the, the, the name of the dictionary plus the key or if you want to need the key just call the key by itself and you see here you can use any variable for uh, for uh, for the key it doesn't matter just make sure that uh, in your code you just reflect that variable as well save that run that let's do the 15 i'm doing always the 15 just to see that you know we're getting the same values as before no changes right now uh one other thing what we can do to improve our uh, code and that is uh the formatting i, I don't quite like the formatting yet now we, here we have some two play uh, two um two place after the decimal here we have one place after the decimal now how can we improve that well And uh, that, I think, would be uh, best to do that in the next video because that would uh, keep that video, this video here, uh, in, a, in, a, in an acceptable time frame. Yeah, so in the next video, we'll discuss how to improve the formatting of those results.